Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of WWE Fantasy Booking. This is episode 2. I'm Monkey 20 xx and I know I failed to mention that in the first video. I am, I do apologize. But uh, this next one, uh, this episode is about, about the budget cut that I talked about earlier in the previous episode. And this one is basically what I want to see is Emma versus Asuka Part 3. But just, we already seen 1, 2... So, you know, part three would have been awesome. And this one will come at a later date uh, in my fantasy booking, but only because it's, it's a stipulation match. And I'll get to the stipulation in a little bit, but this one is uh, simple and easy. Uh, now that Emma is gone and doing her own stuff, like working the indies, uh, modeling, and other projects, we can get over the fact that the release of her by the WWE came as a total shock. I'm waiting for the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, to have her first loss because we all know that it is inevitable in the WWE. Once she does lose, then we can start getting the wheels turning on and seeing the return of Emma, if possible. Like, the way I, you know, I want to see this happen, but will we? I don't know. I would make it seem like she's just in attendance and witnessed Asuka's first loss. I don't know, maybe. Uh, then after some hashtag give Emma a chance tweets, uh, the land of opportunity smackdown will give Emma a match at a big pay-per-view event like SummerSlam or WrestleMania, uh, selling it as Emma vs. Asuka 3 with the stipulation that if, and here's their stipulation, if Emma can beat Asuka, she will get her job back and a shot at the women's championship on SmackDown. Of course, if she loses, there's no chance in hell Emma will ever wrestle for WWE. If Asuka wins, she will be the number one contender for the women's championship on Raw. That's if she's not champion already. But if Asuka loses, her championship shot goes to Emma. So, with that being said, that's the way I would book it. Let's see how it plays out in WWE 2K18. Hopefully you guys enjoy the next match here. And if you guys like this video, click the like button down below. If you didn't, let me know in the comments down below how, how you would book Emma's return if you want to see Emma return. And would you put her against Asuka or who would you put her against? Let me know. constantly evolving. Emma. And her opponent from Osaka, Japan, Asuka. The always colorful Asuka making her way to the ring. Nicole Asuka coupled that color and charisma with an unmatched level of athleticism. This is a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and I don't think I have to remind anyone what's on the line here. So painful. Asuka with the offense. What an amazing display of power. Let's take a moment to discuss Emma. Hard to predict this early in the match, but what do you think she needs to do to win here? I like what she brings to the table here tonight, Cole, but if I'm being completely honest, this one's just too close to call. Both of these women are so amazing. One thing I can say about her is if she does get beat, it won't be because of a lack of preparation or effort. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. Devastating DDT. Oh. 
Emma's starting to sweat. By no means is this dire straits for her, though. If you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand so much more punishment than this. Yeah, but I feel pretty confident in saying that she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Look at her here. She's just reveling the opportunity to make a mockery of her opponent. Whoa, that was some reversal by Emma. Oscar looks stunned by that. But this one appears far from over, and she knows that. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. She's definitely slowing down here a bit, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the road for her. Not by a long shot. Oh, and she has an answer for that one. She got her with a reversal. Asuka turns it around. Three. Tough situation to be in right here. Yeah, you have to think this is not going to end well. Emma looks to be in some pretty bad trouble here. How can she get out of this mess? Her opponent clearly has her number here. I really expected much more from her here tonight. I'm pretty shocked to see her absorb so much punishment. And for her sake, you just hope this isn't the beginning of the end for her, especially considering it's been such a tightly fought contest up to this point. And the strike connects. She's starting to get on a roll. And now it's Emma with momentum again. Fireman's carry. This doesn't look good, Corey. Couldn't agree more, Cole. This has got trouble written all over it. Uh-oh. That looked ugly. I mean, and it sounded even worse. Not going to win many matches with that move. I had the chance to tour the WWE Performance Center earlier today, which is not too far from us here in Orlando. It's such an amazing state-of-the-art facility. Oh, no, we've got a problem here, guys. It sure looks that way, Michael. Asuka turns it around. Wow, is there nothing she can't do? And she's a little bundle of energy right now. No! She breaks it! Wow! She's quite the escape artist, Michael. Nice job by Asuka. Things are looking unfavorable for Emma. She looks dangerously close to losing this match right here, guys. Yeah, unfortunately for her, it looks like her night is not going to end the way she hoped. You got to wear your opponent down. Find that little weakness that could help you end up not so fast. She breaks it. Yeah, but it's got to just be a matter of time before she gets picked off here. Emma with a slick reversal. That'll leave you dizzy in a hurry. Struggling to get up right here. Tough spot to be in at this point, Michael. That can't be enough, can it? Non-stop assault against Emma. And she's still not moving. I don't think she can recover from this goal. <laughs> I 
Asuka has taken control again. I don't know how much more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. And Corey, she releases the hold. Looks like a questionable decision on paper, but I'm sure she has something up her sleeve here, Cole. How these superstars are even still in this match is beyond me, especially given how intense the match has been. And she comes up with a big counter. Just toying with the competition a little. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. She's got the skill to go on runs. Now we'll see if she has the stamina. She appears to be in complete control of this one. This could do it. At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten and battered. With a move like that, she's just trying to insult her opponent. She, oh man, Emma Sandwich. Emma needs to put her away here, Cole. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Some good technique right there. Oh, the counter. And a powerful forearm. Here comes Asuka. She got her in position. Asuka. She's got that gleam in her eyes. I think we're at the point of this match where the finisher could be used at any moment here. Tap, tap, this match is over. And there you have it. Uh, it looks like Emma has lost her opportunity there and will never wrestle for WWE ever again. Uh, that's just a recap of WWE 2K Teens version of that. So. Of course, this was just all fantasy booking, but if you guys enjoyed the video, again, click the like button down below, and if you guys want to see the rest of this series, which is three more episodes, uh, click the subscribe button. Also, if you guys want to see the Royal Rumble match um, that I simulated a while back for the first episode, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see that as well.